sports fans. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome uh, to our version of March Madness. Yeah, but fragrance oils. Absolutely, fragrance oil edition. We have narrowed down our top 16 yeah. fragrance oils. The, the sweet 16. Yes. Um, that's I think that's called. what they say. Yes, yeah. it, is, it is what they say. That's what they say. Uh, but we we really kind of wanted to put it to y'all to decide what mm. the overall fan favorite yeah. is going to be. And some of these are going to be some hot contests, and we've been talking about it for a few days, about what we think is going to win. There's There are some chances for upsets. So I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to just show everybody the bracket. Yeah, let's talk about the bracket real this quick. This is the Sweet 16. So these are the fragrances that we'll be voting on. Oh, and, and how did down. we choose these? Let's talk about that. Yes, so I'm going to pull up the bracket. Um, so we kind of looked at... Uh, things like sales, popularity, things like that. Yeah, and we divided them into seasons. So we've got spring, summer, fall, winter. Yes, and so I, I guess it makes sense that the final one would be like the final all year round or just yeah. whichever one um, everyone really thinks is their favorite. It doesn't have to be the best. It can just be your favorite. Yeah, this is more of the, the fan favorite. Yes, but there are going to be some, some contenders that I would like to talk about quickly. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to say it. Frasier Fur and White Ooh. Birch is going to be insane. Um, I am nervous. I'm very nervous for, for that pairing. Uh, what was another one? Oh, the Sea Salt and Orchid Coastal Cottage. Yeah, that's going to be a little wild. Yeah, that's like the long time, you know, five time champion yeah. versus the up and coming. Which I'm solidly team Coastal Cottage. I think everybody everybody knows. Everyone knows that, Dana. Um, old news. Yeah. So this this is how we're going to do this. We are going to vote in rounds. So the first is going to be voting spring, summer, mm -hmm. fall, winter. Then we narrow those down to two options each, narrow that down once more, and then we have the final round. Um, there will be two minutes of voting between each round. So a vote will open up in the chat. You'll be able to yeah. place your votes. Um, you cannot change your vote once you vote. That's just how it works. So choose carefully. Yeah. Um, there'll be two-minute warning. I will show you what that is. And we will also be able to show you the current pairing that we are voting on so you know. Um, you can also ask any questions, anything like that. We'd be happy to answer during this. Um, and what else? Oh, we're also going to give some stuff away because yeah. why not? Yeah, we're going to give some stuff away. Yes. Yeah, we'll give away some prizes um, after each round. And, you know, we stand White Birch and Fraser for yes. I'm Team White Birch. I'll say I, mean, it. I know I'm Team White Birch too. I mean, I love Fraser Fur. It's like the classic Christmas scent, but <sighs> we'll see. Oh, I'm so excited! I know okay. I'm like I'm like really nervous. <laughs> <sighs> Between each round, we are going to go ahead and um, do a little giveaway. So you'll yeah. be able to put in uh, your entry for that giveaway. We'll pop it up on the screen as well. Yes. Um, you can win some T-shirts, some hats, and then at the very end, um, mm -hmm. that's how to enter the giveaway here. At the very end, we're going to give away all 16 fragrance oils. Yeah. And entering the giveaway, make sure you enter an actual email address. Yeah. Um, it won't be used for anything other than contacting you to get your shipping information about your prize. But, you know, if it's not we a real... We need to know how to give it to you. Yeah, if it's not a real email, we can't give you a prize. So make sure it is an actual email address that you check. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's... Um. All right. What, do we, do we want to smell as we're like discussing each? We sure can. Okay. All right. So we are ready one more time at the bracket. Here we go. We are starting with spring. Because it's currently spring. Why not start with the current season? Yeah. So the first matchup is going to be, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Bohemian Rose versus Lemoncello Cream. <gasps> oh, this one. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Ready, y'all? I'm starting the okay, voting. Okay, two minutes. You have two minutes. Now, get your votes in. Bohemian Rose versus Limoncello Cream, two very different oh. fragrances, um, but both an essential part of any spring lineup, I would say. We can, do have them here. Can we influence the voting? Or should we not? Let's try. Let's try to be biased. <laughs> Which do you like better, Cassie? Um, Limoncello Cream. I mean, I... I, you know, it's it's one of my favorite scents. I use it in my line. It's, it is good. It's just it fantastic. Good. Yeah, it is good. Ooh, but Bohemian Rose is a newcomer. Bohemian Rose, like it has been like climbing the charts. 
And a floral against something a little bit sweeter, a little bit more like fruity and gourmand. Yes. Uh, is it fair? Who knows? Um, that's not why we're here. <laughs> we're here to judge. <laughs> we're here to be judgy. Perfect, perfect for us. Mm. Bohemian Rose is very nice. And see, okay, yes. Get your votes in, in the poll. Yeah, in um, the poll. If you just put it in the comments, it won't uh, accept it. Yeah, we will We will be tracking these. Um, All right, let's switch. Yeah. Limoncello cream is so good. It's a little citrus, a little oh. sweet, it's creamy. Oh, perfect. Mm-hmm. I mean, Bohemian Rose is a really good rose. Yes. You know, <laughs> Limoncello dream, I like that. <laughs> you are not yeah, it wrong. Is. It is Limoncello dream. Oh. It is this is, I would eat this. Oh yeah. Don't eat fragrance oil. Don't, yeah, I never eat fragrance feel oil. Like I but have to say. Yeah, go go find some other sweet treat. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's okay, mm. okay. At first we were we had a lot of Bohemian Rose at first. Let's see. Let's see who's winning here. I think it looks like Limoncello Cream is winning. Can I confirm? Yes. Still a few seconds. Okay, five seconds left to vote. Ooh, yeah, the faint mint notes in here is really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It is. All right, let's look That's at it. the results. Ooh, how many votes? 66, 66 votes. 66 votes. Oh. Okay. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> A little uh, note from our lawyer there. Um, for clarifying not to eat fragrance oil. Yeah, just, just uh, you know, we do it Covering our bases. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so round one is closed. The poll is complete with 66 votes. It was 65% Limoncello Cream, 34% Bohemian Rose. We love to see it. Limoncello Cream yeah. moves on. Yes, All Limoncello right. Cream. Let's go. Let's go for the championship. Ooh, here we go. Yes, the, there's some really, you guys have some really good ideas about Limoncello Cream and Bohemian Rose. I am very, very excited here. Yeah. All oh wait, right. I, gotta, I gotta just share this comment real quick. <laughs> to be, okay, the narrowing down process it was, was hard, it w and there is a sense of kind of like randomization to it to yeah. make it fair. Um, but I agree, cashmere plum should probably, you know, I, I think it would go in a fall fan favorite. But yeah, who knows? In the future, you know, maybe we'll open it up to a wider, yeah, a wider array. So okay, let's check it out. Limoncello Cream advances. We are on to Moonflower, Nectar, and Golden Ooh, Hour. This one's gonna be tough. Moonflower, All of Nectar, these are tough. and Golden Hour. I'm gonna open up voting starting now. Get your votes in. All right, let's smell. I don't, I don't know about this. I, I would have, I would have said Moonflower Nectar for me. I would have said that. that. That's what I, I, yeah. But I'm not sure now. I'm biased on this one. Oh, it's so nice. Moonflower nectar is very mysterious. So for me. mysterious. It's very. So mysterious. I don't know. Did, <laughs> this is going to be so niche. Did anybody see um, the haunting of Bly Manor? Obviously. This is like night blooming garden. Yes. Oh, it like does. Manor yes. garden. One thousand percent. This. Mm. Ooh, ooh, pop up um, the moonflower nectar one. Which one? The oh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, 100%. Uh, I mean, but Golden Hour is mm. Golden Hour was, I want to say, maybe the second best seller in the one out sale, yeah. So, that's right, y'all are interested in Golden yeah. Hour. Let and me... it's there's a nice, uh, there's nice coconut in there, which, like, I do love coconut fragrances, yeah, but uh, but yeah, moon, Moonflower Nectar is something special. I think it is. I think. Oh, look at this. The best fragrance of all time. You can't I'm not it. trying to change I, your I, mind. Yeah, I'm not going to try to change your mind. In fact, I think I agree with you. Wow. Really? I haven't smelled it in a long time. Oh, it's so good. Here, trade. Yeah. Moonflower Nectar and Redwoods and Moss is also one of my really good favorite blend. blends yeah. ever. Yeah. Oh, here's another uh, nice comment I like. She is dark and lovely. Yes, she, she is. is. She sure is. And Golden Hour is. It's still kind of... She's golden and lovely. Yeah, alluring, Yeah, perhaps? Yeah, very alluring. I think both these scents would actually make really, really nice, um, like, bath and body products. Oh, yeah. Be a really nice scrub. Ooh. Heck yeah, Debbie's Death Pile. Signature scent coming in, Moonflower Nectar. Yeah. 
All right, the polls are in. Let's check it out with 64 votes. Ooh, it is Moonflower Nectar Ooh. winning with 62% of the vote. Yes. Oh, oh, Golden Hour smells like in the stars. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I like that. I like that too. Oh, all right. Well, let's check it Ooh, out. I like this too. We did a small wholesale candle for the Eclipse with Moonflower Nectar. Okay, that's it. Oh. Ooh, I like that. Very, very into that. I like that. Okay, let's see. Moonflower Nectar wins. So we are going to complete the first round voting mm -hmm. by moving on to summer. We are going into summer scents. If y'all have not started your summer lines yet, now is the time. Yeah. If not, yeah. <laughs> Should have possibly already. If not like a few weeks ago. Yeah. All right, we are into summer now. Yeah. The first round of summer votes is going to be Coastal. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, Dana. Coastal Cottage versus Sea Salt and Orchid. We have the rookie rising in the ranks against the OG summer bestseller. I'm going to open up voting mm -hmm. now. No. No. Now. Yes. Uh, oh uh, I don't need to smell these to know how good they both are, but. I mean, Sea Salt and Orchid is one of the best fragrances of all time, period. It just is. It just is. It's, yeah, I mean, it's just no question for me. Like, I do love Coastal Cottage. I love salty seaside scents, but like, I, d I mm. yeah, I mean, I agree with you, Brandon. I'm, I'm right there with you. It takes it. It takes it for me. This is, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to have some reflecting to do if Sea Salt and Orchid doesn't win. This is, this is one we would fight about, respectfully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but, we um, would, we would fight. <laughs> he would win in a fight between. <laughs> You're witnessing an altercation yeah. live. <laughs> every, every, everyone would win. Yeah, everyone wins in this, in yeah. this matchup. Oh, <laughs> David, oh, ooh. Them's fighting words, David. I, don't, I know. I still say. It's so good. I still say Coastal Cottage. I don't know. I will Seaside not back down. Orchid. It's just, it's pretty. It's a little salty. There's a little bit of amber in there that keeps it real interesting. Okay, let's trade. I don't want to. <laughs> Shh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, Sea Salt and Orchid is beautiful. It is. It's so good. Yeah. I would say, and I have said, and I will stand behind it, that for new candle makers um, looking to add something in their line that they would like. Yeah a scent that is kind of like for everyone, let's say. Sea Salt and Orchid is a really good option. Most people tend to like it. Everyone likes it. Yeah. Oop, okay, we're counting down. 10 more seconds of voting. Get those votes. I think this is gonna be so close. I'm really I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, hey, okay, Sunflower this. Bombshell. Nice to see you here. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here. Oh, it was so close. <sighs> and. No, no, y'all let me down. Y'all let me down. He came through, he pulled through for me, y'all. Sea Salt and Orchid moves forward with 77 votes. We have 53% to 46. That, okay, that was really close. That was close. That was close. All right. All right, Sea Salt and Orchid wins. Yeah. Yeah, and this, this is true. This is a good point. It's like choosing between your favorite child. You can't pick one. Can you? I mean, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't have kids. I do have cats. I definitely have a favorite cat. <laughs> I, I love both my children equally. <laughs> <laughs> They're too young to listen to this. They don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, here is the bracket moving All forward. Right. So far, I'm feeling good. All my picks have advanced. Okay, well, how is, here's the next summer matchup. We have mango and coconut milk and pink watermelon lemonade. Mm. I have no idea. I have no idea. I can't begin to I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, if I had to guess, mango and coconut milk is one of my favorite things for soap for summer. Pink watermelon lemonade is one of the brightest, happiest, fruitiest scents we've come out yeah. with in a long time. They're very, I think they're very different yeah. in terms of vibes. Let's open up the voting and see what you guys think. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. Two minutes on the clock. Mango and coconut milk versus pink watermelon lemonade. Yeah. 
I haven't smelled pink water lemonade, um, pink watermelon lemonade in a long time, so this should be interesting. Pink watermelon lemonade Let's is so good. See. It is a really pretty scent, and like mm. I love mango and coconut milk. It's just oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I don't know how many times I'm gonna like freak out about how good yeah one of these are because I know. well, pink watermelon lemonade is so nostalgic and just like oh. happy. It makes you feel like it's summertime. It makes you feel like you mm. know you're just with your friends, hanging out, Yeah. you know, before you had to worry about like, you know, paying your mortgage and all that kind of stuff. The good old days. Which is such a bummer, you I, know? I would say that mango and coconut milk is a little bit more beachy and yeah. pink oh, yeah. watermelon lemonade is a little like poolside party. Yeah, definitely. Does that yeah, make sense? Oh. We're also using um, blotter strips to get the full effect of the mm -hmm. fragrances. Yeah. Definitely recommend. Um, we will have some new blotter strips coming out. Oh yeah, we gotta do a do a top down. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, at some point. Let's see it after this. Yeah, I mean, mango and coconut, I mean. Mm. It looks like mango and coconut milk is still. Well, mm. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. All right, well, I just have to share this comment because <laughs> I'm emotionally impacted you know by this. Same. Yeah. This is this Hard is a same. roller coaster. Hard same. <laughs> I I not to influence anything. I would go with mango and coconut milk, maybe. I still don't even I don't know because I really like pink watermelon lemonade. This kind of like tastes like an icy that you would get like at the park. Too. I know, and that's why I don't know. I'm just this like is fun. It's this making is me fun. think of like when I went to the pool in the summertime and I would stay there all day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's like that after nap, you yeah, know? Like, I know. Ah, oh, to be young again. Yeah. <laughs> Overrated. All right, let's see. Let's see. Who's it gonna be? Who's Ooh, it gonna be? It was be? closer than I thought it would be. Oh wow. Oh boy. Fifty-three percent to forty-six percent mango and wow. coconut milk. And. Yep. <coughs> You're correct. 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 Called You're it. right. Called it. Wow. Okay. That was okay. close, though. I Yeah, I don't know what I expected there. Yeah. I, this is fun. OK, yeah. Ooh, I'm ready now. Yeah. Let's check it out. Spring is closed out. Summer is closed out for the first round. We are moving over to fall. And I don't know about this, you guys. People tend to be very, mm -hmm. very opinionated, myself included, about their fall scents. So. Oh, my god. <laughs> 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 Watermelon sugar, no! No, no, uh, no. I'm sorry, Harry. No, yeah, RIP. We can, we, I'm happy to help make it up to him if he, yeah. if he you know, send a DM. Harry Styles, if you're watching, yeah. um, <laughs> let us know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, imagine. Fall round one. Apples and maple bourbon versus autumn glow. Apples and maple yeah. bourbon consistently is a top seller. Yeah. I would almost argue statewide. Um, mm -hmm. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think that sounds right. I am going to quote you on that. Thank you. <laughs> You'll come with receipts. Yeah. Uh, Autumn Glow is one of our newer fall fragrances. Yeah, yeah. Um, La last year. I think, I think so. Think. Yeah, last year fall holiday collection. What is time? Um, mm -hmm. But it, they have it's kind of. It's a flat circle. It's a flat circle. They've been pitting up against each other a lot. Um, I think there is room in fall lines for both, but let's yeah. see what you guys think. We're gonna open up the voting now. Two minutes, apples and maple bourbon. Oh gosh. And autumn glow. Mm. <laughs> I, I think know. I know what you prefer. Yeah. If I had I mean, to guess, I would say apples and maple bourbon. I mean, I prefer the, the correct choice. Ooh. No, I love apples and maple bourbon. It's, um. I'm not like a big like fall scent person or like winter scent except for like pine scents, but I do love apples and maple bourbon. It's just, I love that, get the nice like bourbon, the brown sugar in there, but then you still get the fresh apple that mm -hmm. kind of cuts through it and just really well balanced. It's not like apple harvest or Macintosh yeah. apple, which mm -hmm. I think is like the truest apple yeah, you can oh, yeah, find. For sure. Um, but it's, it, it is. It's like a nice gourmand, comforting. Yeah. Like eating a baked apple in a sweater. Yeah, and and yeah. I mean, it is. It's so fall. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one hundred percent. Although the more I smell it now, the more I don't. I know um, autumn glow is not a gourmand scent, but I'm getting kind of like a muffin note. Yeah. Does that smell like a muffin to you in a good way? 
Ooh, this is nice. Try <laughs> getting a little muffin. <laughs> yeah, it is giving a little bit of like a something, like a streusel muffin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like an apple streusel. I don't know, because there's a little apple in there. I think, yeah. right? Yeah. I feel like it's such a such a staple, like a fall staple. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> Brandon. Living in Kentucky, the smell of bourbon makes yeah. I ooh. Oh, I'm I'm very sad for you. That's, yeah, that's couldn't be me, but I do feel for you. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I don't I don't know now. I don't know. For me, it's for me, it's no no contest. How do we How do we feel about a blend? Ooh. I feel okay. It's it could be better. Yeah. Oh my god! Let not, the boy cook. Not my favorite blend. Yeah. Okay, that is that is unsurprising. Uh, the results are in. <laughs> Sixty-six percent oh, wow. voted for apples and maple okay. bourbon. Yeah, yep. That's you know what? Fair. I get that. Yeah, that's um, this was this was one where I was pretty sure of the outcome. Yeah, to be apples and maple bourbon is it's good. It is solid. Yeah. All right, let's check out where we are. Apples and maple bourbon <laughs> ekes in right there. And now we move on to mm. coffee shop versus pumpkin spice buttercream. This is another one. I have no idea what's going to happen. Because these are both newer since. Right? Uh, I yes. can't remember. Well, coffee shop was, was earlier last was year. Was a little bit earlier. Um, we still do have fresh coffee, but I prefer coffee shop. Coffee shop is not miles excellent. away. Dude, that, I mean, that um, is, like, one of the best coffee scents I've ever smelled. Yeah. Like, if not the best. And, like, I'm not even, like, a coffee fragrance person. I love coffee, but yeah, I'm not going to, like, burn a coffee candle in my house necessarily. But the pumpkin spice buttercream is a newer pumpkin, and pumpkin goes hard around yeah. this time of year. And this is maybe my, maybe my favorite. I don't know. Maybe my favorite. Maybe my second favorite pumpkin. It's one of my favorites because uh, we got to eat the buttercream. Um, oh, that's right. That's that Lisa right. made. So thank you, Lisa. I, I wasn't there that day. Yeah. So, <laughs> Opening up Rude. the votes now for coffee shop versus pumpkin spice okay. buttercream. Okay. What's going to happen? I because I feel like the timer up, but I, I think it's up. I feel like coffee fragrance fans and pumpkin favorite fragrance fans are like very intense. Yeah, and like, are they related? Not so much until we find that like perfect fall weather of yeah. the pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. So, coffee shop is ooh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so mean to make me choose between these two. I know it's this like I'm hard. really I'm having a hard time with this one, but this is I like this blended these last season as a PSL. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Okay, I can I can see that. That might actually be one of our suggested blends. I can't Are remember. It? Yeah. I've definitely done it during like a blending my live. Dog. My dog hates coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll never burn it again now. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. Oh, poor doggy. Ooh, okay, yeah. Yeah, these are good. Okay, you guys have some really good opinions about these. I could not, yeah. the timer did not go up this time, so if we could just get a timer, sorry about that. Ooh, okay. I keep forgetting to dip them. Yeah. I'm like waiting for you to do it. Sorry, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Please, allow me. <laughs> All right, I'm only gonna dip a small amount of uh, coffee shot. Coffee shot is, is strong. She is very strong. She's very powerful. But pumpkin spice buttercream is, is really nice. This is, I mean, this is such a good coffee. And I do, I love coffee, and I, mean, I love the smell of coffee. It smells yeah. exactly like my coffee cup I have over here, honestly. Yeah. Mm. And I do think it's very easy to blend mm. with both of these. Yeah, for sure. To be honest. Oh, want to know how Sorry. these two blend? Let's... Hey. Shut up. <laughs> I know, I'm like, <laughs> wafting. <laughs> They blend really well. And this, yeah, this is a pumpkin spice latte. Like. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not too sweet, which mm -hmm. I think is an issue sometimes yeah. um, with gourmand coffee candles. For sure. Ooh, ooh, this is so close. <laughs> this is going to be incredibly close. I do like them together, though. All right, we got a countdown. Okay. Okay, and I think... Oh, get those votes in. Get, them, right. get them in. We're almost done. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how to 
we didn't talk about tiebreakers if we need, so. <laughs> oh. I, oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm, I might have some words uh, to say about this, but. I'm shook. The results are telling us that pumpkin spice buttercream wins 50% of the vote to 49% wow. for coffee shop. Okay, fine. If that's how you feel. I That's fine. That's okay. Good. That's okay. Is that the first upset of the I mean, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I stop, stop the count. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is also a new system. We've, we've never yeah. done this polling system before, so um, we're going by the numbers. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Here wow. It is. I mean, but Here that's democracy is. for you. Yeah, the first upset. I love democracy. Oh, man. Okay. Who said that? Who said that? Wow, okay, okay. Here we go. We, we have a wild card. And now we're moving into, oh no. Okay, we're moving into winter. We're moving into okay. winter. <sighs> I need to emotionally prepare myself. With Fraser Fur, King Christmas himself, against White Birch, the beauty of the woods. I don't know, guys. I don't even know what to say. Here, I guess. Um, <laughs> I just like, I'm, I just need to breathe. Like, Here we go. Right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm, re I'm really scared. My counter button is broken. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and open up the poll. Wait, this is, I have such a, the 1% abstain. Yeah. 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 You know what? Good for them. <laughs> That's your right. That's your right in a democratic yeah. society. Uh, I will accept any and all angry letters about this. Yeah. I will uh, read them personally. Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Okay, our timer is back. <laughs> we, we did break math. Break it's fine. Love that. It's not mathematically I, possible I for love, coffee I shop love that for us. I love that for us. All right, Fraser Fur, moving into winter, Fraser Fur versus White Birch. Yeah, hard same. You and me both. I feel ill. Um, My stomach is in knots right now. It's it's very close. I So I will say, on a positive note, that blending Fireside with either of these fragrances mm, is yes. one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. Um, Hands down, fireside. Uh, just a little bit of fire. Bleh, sorry, just a little bit of fireside <laughs> with white birch is one of my all-time oh, favorite blends. Year Easter's round, same, same. Year round, same. That's just actually that might even be the very first fragrance blend I ever smelled from like Candle Science Fragrances when it's, I started working here. Yeah. You know, eons ago. It is amazing. Um, if you want to sprinkle in a little bit of cranberry woods for an extra holiday feel, mm -hmm. absolutely feel free. Oh, here you are, oh, oh, m'lady. Oh. <laughs> that is Fraser Fur, as I'm sure you can tell. Yeah, it is. It is so good. I mean, Fraser Fur has been one of our best-selling scents forever. forever, like since it was born. The I mean, best. The that's true. The best. The be Not even like, one of the best. Like the no. best. Numerically speaking. Yeah, it is. I mean, Ooh, white birch. I'm it, still. Ooh. It's Mr. Christmas, like you said. Yeah. The answer has always been White Birch. Yeah. Yes, Alejandro, absolutely. Yeah. Undecided voter. <laughs> yeah. How can we sway you? How can we sway you? What do you need? All right, that's straight. White, I mean, but White Birch is... Ooh, they're both so good. Yeah, I feel like White Birch has more woodiness to it, but at the same time, it's just even more fresh and just yeah. like... Just this white winter tough. woods. It's like White Witch, you know? Mm. Yeah, there is there, and there is a I think just a slightly heavier holiday note yeah. in Fraser Fur, but ooh, an upset in my favor. <gasps> All right, voting is closed on this round. You guys came through. White Birch ekes through with fifty-two percent <gasps> to forty-seven. Upset. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I love it, you guys. All right. <laughs> Here we oh, brother. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Thank you, everybody who voted for White Birch. I mean, voted with my eyes shut. Yeah, you gotta do Sometimes you just gotta do <laughs> what you gotta to do. Fate. Yeah, sometimes you just have to let fate have it, you know? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. White Birch makes it through. We're oh. on to the last pairing of our first round voting. 
Ooh, orange pomander and cran... Is that cranberry woods? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So I really like <laughs> orange pomander. <laughs> Major <laughs> Yeah. Finally. White birch. We have, the signs are here. <laughs> I... I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know what's going to happen. This is one. I just don't know what's going to happen. Let's start voting. Let's find out. I mean, if I have to pick one of these, I do really like cranberry woods because I like that, like, fresh pine foresty element in the cranberry. But, like, the orange pomander is good. It's a juicy, like, orange with a little pepper in there, some spice. Personally, this might be a hot take. Personally, I like orange pomander better. Oh, that is a hot take. Hot take. I like it better. Do I think it's a better scent? Maybe not. Maybe I, I cranberry woods might be a safer choice for holiday yeah. wine. I mean, it is a long time holiday bestseller. Yeah, but if you want to live on the edge, you want some little spicy, a little sweet. Yeah. I don't know if I've smelled orange pomander in a little bit. I, there's just something about it that I, I personally really like. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, the citrus in here is really good. Yeah, I mean, there's, some, there's a little bit of citrus in both, yeah. but... Ooh, Cranberry Woods, yes. Oh, yeah, we can do a tier list. I've actually mm -hmm. been thinking about this because I've been watching a lot of those, like, tier, tier list videos lately. We should do it. And I, I've always wanted to do one, yeah. so we should do one. Cranberry Woods, I found out, was one of the first mm. candles that I bought at a craft fair in Durham when I first moved here. Oh. I didn't know that they were a Candle Science customer until I oh, started funny. working here. Yeah. So I was like, this is kind of really nostalgic for mm. me. Ooh, Cranberry Woods. Yeah, Oof. it's, we're getting there. Oh, White Birch does feel like kind of homey. It does. Yeah. I like Cranberry Woods. I, I do yeah, a lot, I but. Yeah, I... the more I'm smelling the orange pomander, the. It's a sleeper hit for sure. You no. Know, I think I have to shift my vote over. It's been a while since I smelled oh. it. And now I'm just, I don't know. Orange pomander, I, for me, it's still. The I, citrus is so nice. It's sharp. It's sharp. It and it's sharp. not super spicy. Like I know yeah, yeah. there's a heavy like clove note in there. But it's not, it's not overwhelming. It's good. I, I'm telling you. OK. I'm, I'm telling you. All right. What do we have? <gasps> oh, no, Dana. All right. I guess you guys like Cranberry Woods. That's fine. Uh, voting closed. Here we have Cranberry Woods, 58%. Orange Pomander, 41 It was a good game. It was that was a good game. Valiant effort. Yeah. I'm OK with that. Both teams did their best. I'm a <laughs> we just hope everyone had fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. We are down with the first round. You know what that means. It's time to give something away. Oh, I need my laptop. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, we'll get that. Thank you so much. I need to pick the winner. I forgot yes. to do that. Sorry, guys. I no, got too. You're good. I got too excited about uh, <laughs> you know all the things. All right. So okay. we're going to give away a hat and a t-shirt. Yes. I hat, and a t hat and a shirt. Um, do I have? So I you do. have like a minute maybe to enter the giveaway. Mm -hmm. Our limited edition, limited run hats that we gave away at our grand opening, um, and then a candle sign shirt that I do not have, but you will soon. Uh, so go ahead, you can enter the giveaway right here. It's going to just be randomly generated. Uh, and then we would just need to contact you and let you um, get like your shirt size and where to send everything. Yeah. So we'll All right, go ahead. Let me go here, let me go pick some winners. Get your entries in. Oh nice, we have a good number of participants. All right, cool. randomly, this winner, random comment picker, so. Random comment. Yeah. What do we have? All right, Bridget. Bridget LaCory, you have won a Candle Science hat and t shirt. So, congrats. Nice. Nice, um, Bridget. Yeah, I will be sending an email at the email address you provided to get your shipping address and t shirt size. Perfect. So, congrats, Bridget. And we did have a quick question about orange pomander being soap safe. It is. I just confirmed. So feel free. Ooh, that would be a really nice holiday soap. It really would. Yeah. Um, nice. OK. We're moving on. We're moving on to the next round of voting, starting back up in spring. This is the weirdest pairing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I just don't even know what to do right um, now. I don't know how to feel. 
so we're moving into second round this voting. This is hard. Uh, for those of you just joining us, we're up to Wait, two. and it's, we got Moonflower Nectar, Limoncello Cream, right? Yes. Okay. I don't, you guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to vote for. I, I use both of these in my line. I love them both. Okay. Oops, sorry. So this will be the I'm, next I'm, I'm upset. pairing that we're voting on. I'm going to open up voting <laughs> now. I'm, real, I'm upset. I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. Get those votes in. I don't, I don't know, know how to, you pick between these two. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm going to just leave it to the voters on this because... For spring? Oh, it's, it, this is really hard. Mm. They're so different. I I don't... It, it's, it's not even apples and oranges here. It's like apples and crocodiles. Like, I don't... I can't... <laughs> this is wild. I, they're so different. And they don't blend. <laughs> they don't blend. Or do they? <laughs> hey, now. Um, like, I feel like, I guess maybe I have a slight moonflower. <laughs> Criminal. <laughs> There's like a slight delay. Yeah. Oof. Do you not have the timer? No, okay. I can't. Sorry, I'm having, we're having technical difficulties with our timer. But um, I'll let you know when voting's closing. You still have a few more it's seconds to get that interference. in. Yeah. This is, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Ah, mm. oh, okay. Yeah, impossible choice. Absolutely it is. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. Criminal, absolutely. The, I, oh, I don't know. How was, this, this choice is not fair. This is, this hurts. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. If I only had to choose one for a spring line, I guess it would come down to, to branding and what the line was because there's, in, in no real world, would I have to choose between these two. This is an unfair choice. I couldn't. I can't choose. I know, and I'm just trying to think of which one sells better for me. And Okay, we have a countdown. Get I those last minute votes in. I think I can see who's winning. <laughs> I'm not built for this. <laughs> All right. All right, that's it. Okay. All right. Moonflower nectar. Okay, the people have spoken. Miles, that is not fair to limoncello cream, but it it probably is the right call. Yeah, I can't say. Um, yeah, moonflower nectar. Sixty wow. percent of the vote. Okay. Okay. I I feel okay with that. Wow. 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 <laughs> Okay, I do have to share this comment because it's Guess pretty good. funny. Although I think there's I'm like having, a slight delay. Yeah, I'm having a delay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. My mom's not allowed to burn limoncello because my dad always thinks she's baking something and gets upset. That is the problem. Yeah. The blessing and the curse with gourmand candles. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Valid. Oof. All right, moonflower and nectar advances. I am all about this. Okay. I can't get rid of it. Oh, it'll yeah, it takes a yeah. minute. Sorry. Or um. Castro might be able to clear something. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to summer. Here we go. We Ooh. have sea salt and orchid and mango and coconut milk. Yeah. I think I know who's going to win. I feel I feel pretty good about it. This this might be this might be a sweep. So we'll see. Let me see if I can pull that up. Okay, let's see. Some more technical difficulties. Yes, yeah, we've, we've, we've been hacked. Sorry. Someone's trying to influence the voting. Okay, there, there we go. go. Okay, no, just kidding. I don't have a spring second round. <laughs> Hold on. Casper, can we have this? <laughs> Thank you. The summer. Okay, sorry. Um, you know, we're doing it live. Yeah. Sea salt and orchid and mango and coconut milk. This is so much better than basketball. <laughs> uh, I know what I would pick. I want to know what y'all would pick. I know what I would pick. We have two minutes starting now. I do love both of these. Pulls going to be open for two minutes. I, I, I'm going to say it. I think sea salt is going to win. I but do, too. I, I do, too. Do I want it to? I do. 
I don't know. I want an upset here. No, I just want the things I like to be validated, so. I, I like an underdog. I kind of think mango and coconut milk is a contender. I, I think it is a contender, but I don't know. I mean, Seesaw and Orchid is just too good. But that's the problem. It's too good. It's not fair. Hmm. Uh, it's so good, though. I mean, life's not fair. <laughs> Much like sea salt and orchid, life is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, this is, okay. They could both be in a line together, and it's, yeah. there's no competition yeah. um, between them. Sometimes if you have very similar scents within your line, you kind of have to make that choice. Mm -hmm. I think these would both have a home. No yeah. problem at all. Oh, it is a horrible feeling to have to pay. <laughs> You know what, I think that, that should be a t-shirt. I agree. I like that comment. Yeah. The I next Candle Science merch. <laughs> I want the things that I like to be validated. Yeah, that's a, that's a big mood, I've got to say. Yeah. Fragrance bracket over basketball bracket. Yeah. I, I have to agree as well. Yeah. This, uh, this is our sports. <laughs> yeah, this, this is our Roman Empire. Yeah. I think about this every day. <laughs> Our, uh, I, you know what? I'm not going to get too jazzed up about this because I think this is going to be a very clear winner. Yeah. And Vicky, I think you're onto something. Sea salt all day. I do. I have a feeling. Yeah. How much time do I have left? Oh, oh ten all right. Seconds. Ten seconds. If ten you feel seconds. very strongly about mango and coconut milk, I would yeah. vote heavily for that now. Yeah. I like the, the sports. Sports, sports, sports. <laughs> All right, polls closed. What do we have? Unsurprising turn of events. Yeah. Sea salt and orchid moves forward. Yeah. I mean, that's unsurprising. Fine. Yeah, unsurprising. that's It's probably the right call, honestly. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's check out where we're at. All right, that closes out another round. Who? Oh boy. Are, are, uh, all right, all right, all right. Man, that moonflower nectar versus sea salt, that's tough. I, that's a hard one for me to pick. We're moving into fall. Ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Fall second round voting. Um, here we go, apples and maple bourbon against pumpkin spice buttercream. Mm -hmm. Apples and pumpkins are always head to head, I think, Yeah. in the fall category. So we're gonna start voting, we're gonna start voting now. Two minutes on the clock to pick between apples and maple bourbon and pumpkin spice buttercream. Oh wow, okay, I don't know what's Ooh. gonna happen here. I'm usually an apple girl, I'm usually an apple girl. Usually, yeah. Mm. Yeah, if, it, if it's apples or pumpkins, it's apples. apples. But it's so good. And it blends really well with coffee shop for that pumpkin spice latte. And it's like, if you have to have a pumpkin. Well, if I have to have pumpkins to pumpkins, I'm yeah. picking oh. pumpkin spice buttercream. Yeah, of course. Of pumpkins course. to apple. Apples to apples, I'm picking Macintosh apple. Oh, hot take. Very hot. I, it's I like I like that one. That, yeah, me it's too. a good apple. Yeah, it's a solid apple. Yeah, she she's a good apple, literally. Yeah. Oh, not a fan of fall at all. Oh no. <laughs> Take a guess. Yeah. Pick your uh, pick the one that least offends you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I don't know. I need I need some bourbon. This is stress right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We should have. We we should have. <laughs> yeah. Someone. Someone. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's what, it's, it's 11.45 a.m. Yeah, we fine. don't have an intern, yeah. so. Yeah. So if you, if you want to be a Candle Science intern, send a DM. <laughs> Duties include fetching bourbon. Yeah. This is comparing apples to pumpkins. This yeah. is wild, this yeah. is wild. If I had to choose one in a fall lineup, I would probably opt to have a pumpkin. I feel like people yeah. look for the pumpkins. I know, this is one of those things where it's like, do you choose your preference <clears throat> or do you choose what probably most of your customer base is gonna want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and thank you for watching this at work. Um, anyone who is currently also at work, we appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, apples, ooh, I don't know, what with pumpkin? Okay, okay, it's looking close. It's looking very close. 
How much? 10, okay, 10 seconds left. Can we get in trouble for voter intimidation? Yeah, are we, are we allowed to threaten anybody? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you don't vote for Apple, <laughs> you're gonna get one of these. Oh, it's it. <sighs> all right, oh, all right. Okay. Apples and maple bourbon. Apples and maple through bourbon. Yes. With 59% of the vote. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I personally like that. I do like that. Excellent. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not mad about that. No. Yeah. No. Okay. We are going back to our bracket. We have one more round of voting in this second round. I don't want to do it. Oh, this one for me is easy. We could just end this now. Yeah, for uh, me it's easy. All right, here we go. The This round of voting, um, I can't pull it up, sorry. Okay, there it is. Uh, nope, that's not it. <laughs> this is going to be White Birch versus Cranberry Woods. Both are very, very winter woodsy scents. I definitely know my favorite. I think yeah. I know your favorite oh, yeah. oh, as yeah. well, but Let's let's see what you guys think. All right, white birch. Here we go. White birch versus cranberry woods. Um, both fall staples. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, we'll, we'll just put it down for now. All right. Um, sorry. More technical difficulties. So we're just going to white birch. Right. I'll pull this up. There we go. We can get rid of. We can get rid of that. Um, second one. Okay, so White Birch, Cranberry Woods, two minutes to vote. Get those votes in. I, I'm i very, very confident that it's going to be White Birch. Yeah. I'd be oh, yeah. very surprised. Yeah. If anybody wants to visibly see me freak out, vote for Cranberry Woods. Yeah. Because I don't believe you. Like, I will. I think I will pass out. I will riot yeah. if White Birch does not go through. I thought Fraser Fur was gonna win. I so really, I really thought that too. I'm already out of this yeah. game. <laughs> I kind of phone a friend. Yes, phone a friend. Have them, have them come in. Yeah. Oh gosh, but I will say that White Birch and Cranberry Woods blended is lovely. Yeah, those two do blend really nicely. Big fan. Yeah. So together, like they're all winners. Yeah. Um, I like that a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, this is oh, this is gonna be tough. Yeah. I think it's White Birch. Yeah. I feel good about that. But I feel bad for Cranberry Woods because it's also a really nice winter, they can both read winter woods. Um, Cranberry Woods though is a really good fall to winter transitional Yeah, transitional, scent. yeah. So. But you know, I kind of like white birch all year round. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah, white birch I will burn all, all year round. Mm -hmm. I will replace it with Fraser fir for the hot, like the Christmas season. Oh yeah, hot tip, blend white birch with white sage and lavender. Ah, yeah. Thanks, Casper. <laughs> Perfect. We only have a little bit left to, oh, like five seconds. Get your votes in. <laughs> White Birch and Cranberry <laughs> Woods. Done. It has to be White yeah. Birch. Yeah. And it is. Yeah, and White Birch. We, we all knew. knew. We all knew. This, this is one where it's like, you know, the number yeah. one seed is playing the number 16. Yeah. Seed. I mean, no offense, Cranberry Woods. They gave it heart, you know? Yeah, they, they, they had heart. Yeah, they had heart. Yeah. Fortunately, you know, White Birch prevails. Yeah. Big fan of that, gotta yeah. say. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We made it. We made it. Yeah. Okay, ready? We are going to, um, we'll drop that to get here. Oh, okay, and it's time for another giveaway. Here we go. So remember, if you have not entered the giveaway, I will give you like 20 seconds to do that. <laughs> The yeah. link is in the description uh, to do that. And just enter your email, your name, your actual email, please, so that I can contact you for your prize. Yeah, please. All right. All right. The link to enter the giveaway is in the description of the video. Go ahead and just click in. I'll give you a few more seconds to enter. Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm picking. Oop. Leaving it up. To fate. Here All we go. All right, Andrea Nevea. Congratulations. You are the winner. Also, I love your name. That's so yeah, pretty. Yeah. All right, Andrea, you're getting a hat and candle sign shirt yep. coming your way. And I will email you at the email address provided to get your shipping address and t-shirt size. Perfect. All right. Whew. Final four. The final, final four. four. 
Oh boy. All over the board here. Um, nothing makes sense, but I will say, Moonflower Nectar surprises me the most here. I don't know why. I, I thought something lighter or more powdery mm -hmm. would win out for like the representation of spring, but I'm not mad about it. Dude, I won't lie. I really thought Bohemian Rose was gonna take I did take too. it over Limoncello. I know, like I'm present pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Sea salt and orchid for summer, absolutely yes, I, no yeah. notes. Apples and maple bourbon, 100 percent fall. Winter? A kind bit of an upset. A bit of an upset, yeah. But I'm a fan. I am a huge fan. So we are going to start on the spring summer side. Oh my gosh. I I'm like really oh. I'm really <laughs> actually in physical distress right now. <sighs> because I, I actually blend these two together. Oh. Don't right. tell anyone. Yeah. Shh. It's a secret yeah. just between <laughs> Us and all hundreds of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, and I, I really, I can't pick. I'm gonna have to abstain from this vote because. All right, we are going to pop it up on the screen here with the spring versus summer round voting of moonflower Ooh. nectar versus sea salt and orchid. Ooh. I, I do not like this. Um, Why did we agree to do this? I know. Well, I, we couldn't have foreseen. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay. So it's gonna be Moonflower Nectar versus Sea Salt and Orchid. We're gonna get two minutes on the clock. Primus and technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, the vote is up. You have two ah. minutes to squeeze in those votes. Oh, it's ooh, it's close already. Okay, okay. I, I hate this. I do not like it. I yeah. Uh, I want Moonflower. To, I want Moonflower to win. It's not winning currently. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Moonflower. Come on. Where is my Moonflower Nectar army? Where Where are you? I know you're out there. <sighs> Remember, there is a wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. Too true. You know what? Th that's, that's the energy that I am just here to cultivate. Some of y'all are going to be on the right side of history today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and for those of you not, I will remember. That, that's the energy I want. Yeah, let me let me get some of that. Ooh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> if you don't vote for sea salt and orchid, you don't support helping stray dogs. <laughs> Listen, you heard it here. I... You can't say that after I've made that declaration, Brandon. Well, Dana, um, you don't support stray dogs. Wow, I am a horrible person. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Vengeful villain energy. Yes. This is it. That, that's my favorite this kind is of it. energy. I'm, um, oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, how much time do we have left on the boat? Yeah. Oh, it's close. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, you, it's us. look, I'm in black, you're in white. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Yeah, apt. One of us doesn't like stray dogs. <laughs> Can't wait for anyone to see that out of context. <laughs> Perfect. Whoop, whoop. We got to pull that for the clip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. It is wrapping up, and the numbers are still changing. Oh, boy. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, Ten seconds to turn the tide. <laughs> Ten seconds. Uh, all right, I think, I think I need to admit defeat here. Wait, what? Sixty-one percent for wow. sea salt and orchid? Like, wow, who? wow, wow, wow. Who thinks that? <sighs> okay, fine. Yeah, you know, like I'm not like super surprised. I'm a little disappointed, in you guys, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Someone, someone go get Tucker. Yeah, that's hilarious, <laughs> but I do have to say, Dana loves dogs. I do love dogs. I have a dog. I feel like I yeah. need to make a disclaimer now. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, if anyone dislikes dogs, it's me. And I do like dogs, but, you know, I am more of a cat a cat lady. All right. Sea salt and or This is not surprising. Yeah, this, this doesn't... This is not surprising. Yeah. Yeah, what a final four. I truly, <sighs> truly... Uh, oof, okay, okay. This and now this is another unfair pairing of two extremely heavy hitters. And I, I like Dax. <laughs> and like that's, <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how I feel. But we're gonna do it. We the next round of voting is Ew. 
Wait, what is it? Oh, apples and maple bourbon, white yeah, birch. Okay. Apples and maple bourbon and white birch. We're going to start the timer for two minutes and get the poll up so you can make a very difficult decision, to be honest. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I like white birch. Yeah, I, I mean, I really do love both of these, but if I have to choose... I'll, I'll choose white birch because it's like which one can you would know, you, you know would you rather have in your life? Yeah, but you like apples and maple bourbon can be a year round so, fragrance. So can white birch. Uh, and now I'm thinking like seasonally. Like I get that if you're in Kentucky, you might not like the apples and maple. That was a yeah. good point to make. Yeah. But white birch. I mean, I don't know. I feel like birch trees are around. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> there, birch trees are real. Bir there are birch trees. They're in the, they're in the world. I know that. <laughs> This is tragic. Yeah, this is, I don't, yeah. Also, this this comment is sending me right now. <laughs> oh, no. We've spurred them into action. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Entering the villain arc yeah. uh, here Always. at Candle Science. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ooh, <sighs> ooh. The, num the numbers are very telling, y'all. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. They're also telling me that I don't know if enough people have tried apples and maple bourbon. <laughs> yeah, maybe like I'm, not I am yet. putting maybe it down not. right now because of my love for white birch, but it is a good fragrance. I love. I mean, if I have to choose a sweet gourmand for fall, I'm choosing apples and maple bourbon. Yeah, it is. It is also it. The feedback that we consistently get is that it does very well at craft fairs. Yeah. Um. So take that to heart if you will. Yeah, but. and also if you want it. Add some more apple, blend it with a little Macintosh apple yeah. for some more freshness. I wonder if you want a little bit more bourbon, you Ooh. add some of like... Some whiskey? Maybe some whiskey? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you can probably... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh no! Yeah, if you hit the wrong button by accident, you can't change your vote. I found that out um, and it broke my heart yeah. the first time we tried this. Also, yes, confirmed. Birch, birch trees are birch real. Birch trees Thank are you. real. Unlike birds, which are not real. Birds are not real. <laughs> Let's see what kind of niche community that statement finds itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the numbers are in. They are not surprising. Yeah. White birch for the win. With, what, 68%? Yeah. Okay. I, I yeah. agree. I like that. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> apples, and <laughs> apples and maple bourbon did a great job. Yeah, it was a valiant effort. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I did not see this coming. I Yeah, I did not either. Wow. And how in the world? Well, first of all, let's give something away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's first, before do giveaway, we do anything else, giveaway. Before we do anything rash. Yeah. Let's, yeah. We're going to do a giveaway. Um, so we're going to give you guys a few seconds to go ahead and enter yeah. the giveaway. It is right there. Um, that link is also directly in the description yeah. of this video. Ooh, do the nose as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, there is also a feature that I would like to show everybody for when we're yeah. smelling scents. Yeah, this is, we'll have this while uh, you guys are entering the giveaway. Noses. 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 Yeah. So we are always learning here at Candle Science. Um, <laughs> we have some new technology to play with. Yes. It's been a lot of fun so far. All right. You got a, you got a little bit. Let's see, like 10 more seconds. Okay, enter yeah. for the giveaway. It's going to be randomly selected. All right. Ready? I'm going to pick a winner. Random, random picker. Here we go. I'm going to do a no celebration again. All right, Denise. Denise Garcia. Denise! You have won. Noses for you. Noses for you, Denise. <laughs> Yeah, I so see you win a hat and Kindle Science t-shirt, and I will email you at the email you provided. Perfect. Congrats. All right. We need. We just need to take a moment here and collect ourselves, because what in the world is this? Um, yeah, let's, yeah, we're going to need to talk about this for a minute. I, I think I'm going to need, like, a quick, just, like, interlude before we go into this. Yeah, let's talk real quick about how we got here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we started with some fantastic fragrance oils. Um, Narrow them down. You guys did surprise us every now and again. Yeah. Uh, there were some upsets. There were some things that were very, very expected. But here we find ourselves at the crossroads of white birch and sea salt and orchid. Wow. 
Never in a million years. So, oops, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was me. Okay, here we are. This is for the final. This is for the fan favorite. This is the championship. This is it. Are you ready? I wish I had I'm like not, an air horn. I'm not so ready. Bad. I'm not ready. Here we go. Opening the voting. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Opening the voting. I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen. You have two minutes. You have two minutes to vote for what we are going to say is the fan favorite fragrance oil. Yeah. Um, it's in your hands. And I don't like where it's going already. Yeah. Wait, guys, no. <laughs> My two best sellers. Oh, oh, I bet that's that's hard. Ooh, this yeah. is, that's awkward. Ooh. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. We're like watching. Yeah, it go sorry, up we're and watching down. it. Yeah, live too. yeah you, you guys can't see it. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Yeah. Please don't make me choose. No, you must. Yeah, you this, must choose. This is a really great end match, though. I mean, this is. I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I. Yeah. I didn't bet on this, so like I have nothing to lose. Oh, why not? But, yeah. I already lost with Fraser Fur. That's, that's, yeah. That's yeah. True. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be like that. Oh, Team Birch. Team Birch. Yeah. Oh no. I, I don't like the way I think this is going. Oh no. Oh goodness. Yeah. yeah I, this, all right. One is, minute left. This is this is rough, you guys. Call in your cousins, your friends, your mom. Get them to vote. This is tough. Cause like <sighs> I do have a slight preference, but these are two of my favorite fragrances. Like these are both. Yeah. Like absolutely in my top five. Oh man. Man. Oh, I can see it. It's early. I think it's early enough to call. Yeah. Ah. There might be there might be a last minute upset. We don't know. Mm, tip the scales. Tip the scales. We Thirty seconds. Birch trees are real. Save the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Tree huggers, where are you? I can't believe nobody here cares about the environment. That's, wow, this is rude. That's yeah, that's upsetting, you guys. It's twenty twenty four. Oh man, moon salt birch. <laughs> That's the answer. That's the answer we need. All right, I ten should, seconds. We should try that blend though. Ten seconds. I don't think. I don't think the tide can be turned. <sighs> These are my babies. All right. The votes are in. The people have spoken. Oh man, and it wasn't that close. Down with the trees, and down with the trees indeed, because sea salt and orchid is the fan. Yes, yeah, 63 to 36%. It's official. Sea salt and orchid. It is official. All right. You're a star. If you don't like it, don't blame us. Yeah. We couldn't play. You're perfect. You're beautiful. Sea salt and orchid. Yeah. And you know what? Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we could, you know, we could have, we, whoever picked that at the beginning, congrats. Um, it was a good call. It was, it was a good game. Man, I was just kind of hoping for an upset, but. Yeah. You know what? Let's give away all of these fragrances. Let's give them all away. Let's Cause, do it. Because then, then they all win. Yes. They so all win. So the next lucky winner and our final giveaway is going to win one of each of these 16 um, yeah. fragrances. 16 one ounces. 16 one ounces. So you can smell them. You can blend with them. You can try them out. Um, and you kind of already know that they do really well. <laughs> so, Clearly, I mean, these are some you know of our I mean? best sellers. Yeah. People really liked them. So let's go ahead and enter the giveaway. This yeah. is the last giveaway. It's the last chance to enter the giveaway. Um, that is the link. It's also in the description of this video. You can go ahead and click that. Please make sure that you give us a valid email so we yeah. can send your goodies to you. Yeah. And while I give you a few minutes to enter the giveaway, we'll just, orchids are real? <laughs> I think so. I mean, I've never seen a, an orchid in the room with us, so. There's not one here. You know. So I don't know. I debatable. Mean, the only thing we can confirm is our own perception. That's so. true. That's true. This and is... this this one I also enjoy. The moon is the only thing that's real. That's true. God, we love the moon. That is true. Yeah. I'm a fan. I'm wearing the moon right now. So. She's beautiful. I'm a fan. I do like the moon. I have some orchids that I grow. Okay. Yeah. Confirmed. Confirmed. But that's orchids your perception. That's not yeah. mine, so I can't confirm it. This is not in my circle. <laughs> All right, get those entries okay. in. We are going to generate them. Here we go. The last lucky winner. Dun, dun, dun. Who's it gonna be? 16 of 
arguably some of our best fragrances. All right, winner, yeah. Evita Deramus. Yeah, Evita! Yes, Evita! All right. Also a fantastic musical. Yes. Nice. Yeah. All right, y'all. That was a lot of fun. I'm still a little upset, um, yeah. personally. I'm... I'm experiencing a lot of turmoil right now. Yeah, I haven't felt this strongly about something in a long time <laughs> when it comes to fragrance oil. Uh, this is this has been a lot of fun. Definitely let us know um, if you'd like us to do this again because I enjoyed it. Uh, this was a lot like of you fun. You guys did, yeah. Well, uh, it seems like we're gonna have to do some more of these. Like, I think so. Yeah, maybe uh, some tier lists. Yes, we'll get some tier lists going. We might be able to do it seasonally. Oh yeah, that so, would be fun. Yeah, do a spring mm, spring uh, scent tier yes. list. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know in the comments um, what you'll want to see, and we'd be happy to do that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, big surprises, and ultimately, For congratulations real. to Sea Salt and Orchid. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, Sea Salt and Orchid. You, you, you deserve it. You yeah. deserve it. You're a very special fragrance. And to all our winners, you'll be getting our stuff soon. Yeah, so I hope you send us a real email. Yes, please. And until then, we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.